hello everyone. Uh, my name is Amin. I'm a software engineer at uh, from Softeam Research and Development Department. Uh, today uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, the Crossminer project. Basically, uh, uh, we will focus on how we integrated and deployed uh, heterogeneous legacy components inspired on a microservice architecture with uh, the project. Uh, first of all, let me uh, give you an overview about uh, Crossminer. Uh, well, uh, the project titled Developer-Centric Knowledge Mining from Large Open Source Software Repositories is a, a European uh, funded research project for the Horizon 2020. Uh, by the way, uh, it's uh, a follow up of another project, another research project called Osmeter. Uh, the Crossminer project uh, started uh, on January 2017 and it's still uh, ongoing on until the end of this year. Well, now let's fix the context of the project. Uh, the context is uh, quite simple, in definition quite complex in the implementation. Uh, as a developer or as an architect, uh, I would like to develop new systems based on open source uh, co libraries or open source components. Uh, to arrive to this uh, objective, we have to deal with a set of challenges. Uh, first of all, to search for candidate components that may, which may uh, fill your requirement. Then we have to evaluate the retrieved uh, set of potential candidates components to find the, the most suitable one. Then we have to understand how to use these components and how to integrate them in your system. Uh, by having a look on uh, the official documentation, on the different blogs, uh, forums, uh, the, quite, uh, the quite obvious example, here we have Stack Overflow. Uh, and finally, we have to monitor uh, this component mm, because it could happen that its quality goes down for some reason. Maybe there is no longer support, etc., etc. Here, at this point, the Crossminer project intervened to deal with all these uh, challenges. Basically, it uh, helped to, uh, to extract automatically uh, knowledge by uh, applying and supplying some uh, techniques, mining techniques. Uh, from uh, my, some mining techniques uh, from uh, a set of or from various uh, information sources. Here we have uh, some from uh, code source like GitHub, from uh, backtracker uh, systems, from uh, uh, communication channels. Basically, uh, here we have an example from Stack Overflow, etc., etc. Uh, now let's move to do. Uh, mission of the soft team uh, within uh, this project by the way soft team is one of the the consortium project uh, one of the consortium project uh, partners which was uh, involved uh, and it which was in charge of uh, the architecture specification and uh, the platform uh, integration components it's also a uh, use case provider by the integration of the Crossminer project within the development process of its uh, modeling tool, Modilio. Now let's move to the uh, challenge that we had during our mission. Uh, as I said, uh, Crossminer is a complex, uh, co a complex uh, platform. Basically, uh, the complexity and the heterogeneity of the different components, uh, especially those uh, irritated from the Osmiter project, uh, raised challenges related to the integration process. Well, first of all, we had to establish 
a kind of a unified communication mechanism to allow the different uh, back-end uh, macro components to communicate to each other. Secondly, we had to to have uh, we had to establish or to use a seamless way uh, in order to uh, and to get, uh, in order to establish communication between the back end uh, co macro components with the different uh, front end clients here you know, we try to uh, reduce the complexity of interaction between uh, all these um, heterogeneous uh, components and finally uh, it's uh, quite obvious to address other uh, cross-cutting uh, aspects like uh, security, uh, authentication, and authorization, authorization as well. Uh, one of the most uh, uh, solutions available on the market, we have uh, macro services. Basically, it's a kind of uh, an architecture style uh, which uh, aim to to uh, structure the plat uh, uh, to structure an application uh, as a set of uh, loosely coupled components and and dependent uh, and and dependent deployed services. Uh, basically, uh, each microservice uh, address a single uh, responsibility or uh, a specific business functionality. Uh, in the in with uh, in a whole uh, platform or in whole application. Uh, so, to explain in more details the different steps that we had to uh, to to survive, the first one is to identify the different or the main macro components that supports uh, or that serve the course miner uh, services. Uh, here we we had take the choice to to not impose uh, using a common uh, technology to implement each component. Maybe one component uh, could be uh, developed or had been developed in Java, the second in Python, uh, in Go, etc., etc. However, the only constraint is that each component or each uh, ser or or the services exposed by each component should uh, expose should be exposed through a rest uh, endpoint uh, the second step is to provide a, a unified uh, layer in order to aggregate all the services provided by the back end macro components here we aimed to use uh, an API gateway, which is a pattern which comes from the, the microservice ecosystem. Basically, it's uh, it's it, uh, a cure or it uh, serve uh, the functionalities of a reverse proxy to read, to redirect the different uh, the different clients' requests to handle each. Uh, all the the, the client request uh, to the diff to the associated and to the corresponding uh, platform components. Uh, and the third step is to allow to address all the security aspects of the different services provided by the platform uh, by using uh, another component which come from the. Uh, micro microservice ecosystem, which is uh, a kind of uh, an authentication system. Uh, basically, it, it's uh, an under layer of the API gateway, which uh, provides some authorization and some uh, management levels for the different uh, API exposed publicly. Uh, by the way, we implemented this one using a G GWT. Uh, uh, token, which is a mechanism for authentication, and for the API gateway, we used a uh, Netflix Zool, uh, a Netflix Zool uh, proxy or routing to implement this API gateway. Here, it's uh, an overview about 
the different components of the, micro of the cross miner project. Uh, on the bottom, we have the different back end uh, components. And on the, on the top, we have the different layers. Uh, here, we have the API gateway and the authentication service, which, uh, which had been uh, added to the uh, platform during uh, the refactoring phase. Uh, to move to the deployment solution, we, fill out our, we, we plan it to fill out uh, a strategy based on containers um, for many reasons, because uh, it allowed to provide a, a new solution of the component processes uh, and to uh, facilitate the deployment and to speed up the deployment. Uh, one of the most uh, favorite uh, solution provided uh, uh, by, uh, in the mar uh, available in the market, we have uh, uh, Docker. So we use it, and uh, which is a technology based on uh, uh, containers, which are uh, stable and available for different platform from uh, for Unix, for li Linux, for Windows and Mac OS, uh, and by ex by ex exploring or exploiting the Docker Compose, which is a tool which come with Docker in uh, which allow us uh, to run and to scale our uh, platform uh, and running multi uh, containers. Here, uh, a kind of an overview of the different uh, containers uh, for uh, the current running distribution of the platform. And uh, here, we, you, you can follow up uh, through our website, uh, through uh, the Twitter page, and our GitHub repositories. And there it is. Thank you. <laughs>